In the tropics tonight in the central Atlantic, Tropical Storm Lee continues to gather strength. The storm will become a major hurricane by the end of the week. So where is it headed? That is the big question, isn't it? Next weather chief meteorologist and hurricane specialist Ivan Cabrera joining us now with the very latest. Ivan. Hey guys, you saw the cold there moving into the north and west over the next few days, west, northwest, and we'll talk about the steering currents here. Those are going to be important. This is the brand new advisory from the National Hurricane Center coming just a few minutes ago at 11 o'clock. We're up 45 mile an hour winds. Now we're up to 50 mile an hour winds. Not a huge you know, increase in intensity, but that is going to change big time over the next few days. Conditions are just going to be perfect for this thing to just run away with it. The intensity forecast here is something we haven't seen from the National Hurricane Center. This could be the strongest hurricane. In fact, if the forecast pans out, it will be of 2023 150 mile an hour winds. This is now by Sunday night. A lot is going to happen between now and the weekend here, particularly with the model runs, and we'll be paying very close attention to what they're looking, what they're showing us here right now. A push to the north eventually is looking likely, but we are way out ahead of it, and it's just too early uh, to really write this off. So there it is moving north of the northern Leeward Islands, north of the USVIs, and also in Puerto Rico here. But if you have a Category 4 hurricane, even if it's you know further apart, that is going to bring some significant impacts across the islands here in the form of some strong winds and also very heavy rainfall as well. And this is the cone of where the center of circulation will be. So if it shifts a little bit further south, then we have even bigger impacts down towards Puerto Rico. This is what is going to be happening the next few days. No question about that. High pressure will steer this to the west and northwest. What happens after this weekend is the big question here. There will be a trough, a dip in the jet stream that comes in. How strong will it be and how quickly will it move across the eastern U.S. to begin to pull this up to the north? Where does that turn happen? That is still something that, that we have to work out. And, of course, we'll keep you posted throughout the next uh, several days. We'll learn a lot more from the models by the end of the week. Right now, they're clustered to the north and west and notice towards the end of the period there the global models that go out 10 days are pushing this up to the north let's hope that stays that way